some of the challenges you're getting because you're mentioning difficulties yes. looking for a, a, a strategic partner in a bank yeah. looking for places to do uh, uh, set up shop so yeah. to speak and all of that yeah. tell me about the problems you are facing now um, before I go into that let me let me chip in one maybe so we're talking about how the program will even support God. Let's take the one-time national health insurance scheme for you example. Know, just address the issue the before issue. I forget it. All right. So deal with this, and then you, you can always have the opportunity to come back. To, to come back. Something. All right. Yes. Um, let, 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 let me deal with the challenge. The right. first challenge is um, with the registration. Mm -hmm. You know, most kids can be found in schools. Okay. All right. So the kids want to undertake the registration, like in-school registration. Okay. They are finding a lot of difficulty because some head teachers are very receptive of the program that they are doing and some too mm. are quite difficult, right? They are using all sorts of, um, of excuses to like block, to block the, the, the kids from um, embarking on that, okay? So that is one. And the second one is also a place that we would, we would be able to do the registration, especially of the youth. And we are trying to look at the assemblies, all right, where if they can give us a place, because after the assemblies, everybody knows where it is. And we say that we are doing registration today, maybe in this district, the youth can all come there. So we just need a desk. Mm -hmm. And um, that is also a little bit difficult. So looking at all the difficult, and then third one is that for such a program, you need a lot of orientation, mm. a lot of orientation, and you need the media. And it is very, very, very difficult to understand that a group of children of a country, they want to contribute towards national development, and they want to consume it in Ghana, something that is being peddled all the time. Mm -hmm. And if they want to talk about it on, let's say, the national media, for example, they'll have to pay money. I mean, it, 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 it doesn't... It doesn't uh, it's not understandable, but that is the, the, the situation they are faced with now. But the national media, for example, will tell you they also look into money, raise money, because it costs a lot of money to produce airtime and all of exactly. that. And you've been saying that you are contributing to the kitty, yes. not taking away from it. Exactly. You should be paying for airtime. Um, let, me, let, me, let, let, let me tell you something. Tell me, me. Me sitting here, it's not about any amount of money that I've paid before sitting here. Okay. But it's when you're producing, and I'm sure when you also read the concept, what they called us and told, told us was that this program is a very good program and it's going to help this country. Mm. And if you do it and a lot of people get money, then they can even do adverts and other programs on, on multi-TV and multi-TV can get more money. It's not about any amount of money that I've paid here. But I'm talking about the state institutions. The state institutions is that even if the private media is telling us this, if there's money in the consolidated funds from all these taxes, that I don't think you'll get a penny mm. because you're a private media. Mm. But the state institutions are the ones who are going to benefit. So if anything at all, they are the ones to respond, right? And I also believe that the state media is supposed to facilitate national development. Mm -hmm. And economic transformation is one of them, right? And so, so that means giving you airtime for free? As, well, um, I, 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 I <laughs> if, 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 if you're, you know, in our, in, in our parlance, there's a wabodji a she and I told you to if, if your beard is burning and, mm. I, and I held you and I, I asked you to hold it mm. for me to fetch water and mm. come and quench the fire and you tell me that if you don't come early I'm going to leave it mm. then it's up to you but what we are trying to do will contribute towards all these single single spine salary and all these things I'm sure would have, would, would have been able to deal with it and coming back this, what I wanted to say before is you said I should address the issue yes. I, I don't want to miss that yeah, one also. I mean, uh, you know the, we, we've been talking about interventions yes we, we've talked about this one-time national health insurance. Yeah. Be honest. It's a very good idea, but it can never be implemented if you don't have more than 60 or 70 percent of the people in the country under the formal sector. Because you should find a way of taking money from everybody, mm -hmm. you understand, to put into that one-time health insurance scheme. Mm -hmm. So this system that we are bringing, because you are going to formalize all employment, including the unskilled labor, it means there will be a place that government can go and get money from these people to fund this, this, this. because if everybody is uh, a washing bay attendant yes. and they take, their salary, they take their allowance at the end of the day and put it in their pocket, how can you tax that person? Mm -hmm. If everybody is a mechanic 
and then at the end of the day they take yeah and then put it in your pocket how can you but if we have we are now going to have a system where over four million to six million youth of this country mm -hmm. are going to be employed under the formal sector where they are going to pay tax and even if, even if it's two percent did you say salary. four to six million are going to be employed yes, yes. they're going to be employed yes they're going to be employed under the other program. How, how are you going to employ them? Because there are some people whose age will not permit you to employ them. No. We are not talking about the kids. We are mm. talking about the youth who are being registered. Four to six million yes. youth. Four to six million. Four to six million youth. We have 13 products. And by the time... And you know one thing. This RISE project alone is going to clear <laughs> about 70% about of the youth in the northern region. Mm. I, I can assure you of that. Mm. It's just going to clear 70% of, of the youth in the northern region. A place like Karaga. Gushegu, Savlugu and those places, I don't think there will be a youth who get up in the morning and say that I don't have what to do. Mm -hmm. Because the resources are there, they only need a boost, and they also need somebody to take their products off them. And I can assure you, there's a, there's a satellite television, it doesn't, only go, it doesn't only transmit to Ghana, it goes beyond the shores of Ghana. So I'm very careful with what I say mm -hmm. on this set. I am telling you this. Within a matter of 36 to 48 months in this country, Unless that youth is a very lazy person or doesn't want to work, but there will be opportunities for everybody. Because the restriction that we are doing, we are going to use that to diminish, we are going to use that to determine how the consumption pattern is going to be. Mm -hmm. So if they are going to consume it every Wednesday and 60% of the youth get jobs to do under that, they will double it and add another day so that the other 40% left. We'll, 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 we'll be able to get some. So I, I can assure you that the program that we have on paper and the way we are going to move with, by the time we have our 13 products on stream, mm. there won't be any, any graduates in this country. Who You've mentioned right.